Move quickly and establish a base on the beaches of Atlantis. So I'm going to try and bait out the uh, meteor shower with my three Pegasus. Send these over here. Just want someone to pick up the relic. Turn back now. Go. That's what I wanted to do. Get them to auto scout. Right, so we're going to be utilizing the mangonels and the uh, Yotuns to take care of the fortress. So we need to make sure that our catapults are protected. So we do actually want to be a little bit careful that we don't over split our troops and lose things unnecessarily. We do need to get rid of this catapult however. Okay, now we've got a little bit of reprieve. Um, the reason why we're redoing this mission is whilst we didn't necessarily cheese this mission originally, what we didn't do was take care of Red, as in like kill Red. And that's what I want to do this mission, mostly for fun, if I'm being honest. And as a challenge to myself. So this mission is, whilst it's not the hardest mission in the campaign, is definitely up there. However, killing Red is probably that makes this the hardest challenge within the campaign. Which is why I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it really more than anything. So uh, we don't want to kill this particular fortress because we'll capture it once we... Uh, once we nab... Um, once we nab this settlement. So I want to move these guys onto this next. Go into wood production first. So I want to take care of these guys up here. Just also building a wall. So we will take care of this wall and get rid of it afterwards. I just want to block it off for now. Or else we deal with the top side army. Just picking off a couple of buildings that we don't want to have to deal with. Start 
right to him. Send these around over here to take care of this. I do actually want to grab this upgrade as well, specifically this one. Because the enemy will drop a um, meteor shower on our secondary base. I don't really want to lose the villagers. Monra, you really are something. Yeah, that whole leap thing over wall is very annoying to deal with. Even for me, <laughs> trying to make sure she doesn't do something stupid like that. But hey ho, it is what it is. Grab these guys. Take care of this. Right, so the TC will deal with all this anyway. We wanted to upgrade the boys. Let's rebuild all the farms. No big deal. Exactly 12 farms. Perfect.
kind of annoying that I can't actually build. Yes, we'd have to build it this way. Because it's too small is part of the problem. Actually, I don't want to trigger any enemies at this point. We are barely surviving. Need to upgrade these walls though. Also building up our forces. Army co sorted. We do need to think about aging up. Oh, we definitely do not want to be pushing into them. No, sorry. Oh, we are borderline surviving. But we are surviving, <laughs> nonetheless. That they can take down trees. I think our farm eco could probably need a little bit of extra work. I wouldn't mind grabbing a sailor and a couple of uh, boats. Oh, 
want to age up before preferably so we're gonna actually stop unit production we actually have an army now for the first time in this game Next thing we want to do is age up for sure. Mangonels. At this point, we don't need any more villagers. Let's deal with that, however. Uh, we want the Festus with plenty volt. Oh, I don't need, I want. <laughs> Very badly. The other thing we need to do is actually get a couple of people on faith production or favour production. If I push up too far, it will trigger an earthquake, so I do want to be very careful of that. I'm not ready to push into the enemy just yet. Got these guys to repair as well. On the age up, so let's go back to producing some troops. So we've done the Festus thing, we'll grab all the upgrades. Down, 
Just realized I wanted to take care of this actually more than anything else. So we're still not in a position where we're ready to take on the enemy just yet, as much as I'd love to. Definitely need to grab this upgrade because it will make everything cheaper. Ooh, so cheap. Now we can smash out all the upgrades. Some mana goes and pushes up that far. Imagine my not surprise. <laughs> I'm actually going to get these onto the boats. So I actually want to take over another settlement so I get some more. Um, population. Which is also the reason why I want to send these over. So the enemy is going to uh, ultimately drop an earthquake on us at some point when we push in. To what the enemy deems is too far. There it is. Need some more of these then. Luckily our economy is in a really strong position right now. Though we are vastly and very quickly running out of gold. In fact, we are out of gold. I'm going to build a marketplace just in case. But gold is the next problem we're going to have. We can grab this, to be fair. That's partly why I built this. We're actually running out of all sorts of resources, so we are going to have to push into the enemy sooner rather than later. I'm going to put a lot of these vills onto temples, because there's one other thing I need, and that's plenty volts. Plenty volts give us basically infinite resources. Just going to grab these three just to repair this. Haha, <laughs> wow. That's unfortunate. Down. 
This is part of what makes this mission so tough, just how aggressive the enemy is in attacking us. Ouch, that was a painful attack. We just had to parry. Alright, we do need to start pushing into the enemy now. At this point, I've got too many bills. A hero has fallen. But we do need to attack into the enemy. We need to start doing some actual damage because uh, we can't stay defensive the entire game. These two villagers. Oh, that's such a big army. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, we need to back that up. There's no way we win that fight. Just one of the things I was hoping to avoid was a full-on fight with the enemy, but... He flew too close to the sun. Plus side we have been building troops non-stop in the background so I think we can go back in for a second second pop. We need to take care of more town centres though so that we can increase our pop limit. Thank you. 
Ooh, wow, they are really pushing on the seafront. Okay, fine. Do want a plenty vault, however. I'll destroy my houses, that's actually really annoying. Okay, fine. Rebuild them over here then. We need to be careful, that army we cannot fight. No matter how much we want to, <laughs> it's not going to happen. I wonder if that army's heading it this way actually. It would make sense if they were. Which could also be a pretty big problem for us if that is indeed the case. We need a second dock. Can't produce enough units to deal with that. We are destroying their production though, which is a huge positive. Downside, they've got a massive armada. And that is a problem we need to deal with sooner rather than later. Man, they are absolutely smashing it. Mission like this, infinite resources, very big deal. Such a big army, I'm not sure we could beat that. Give it a whirl. That is not looking great. In fact, that's looking pretty bad. That army is insane. Surprisingly, hot lights are the uh, bulk of what they're using there. What a mission. <laughs> this is why I think this is the most challenging mission in the game. For this particular reason, if you play it like an actual skirmish rather than a mission or a campaign where you've got a set objective. Alright, finally got an army to actually defeat these guys. That's great. Let's take care of that dock. Pick up the fallen heroes. Woo, what a mission! Next. Tecton. 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 Next.
So where's that dock? I actually don't know. There it is. Okay, take care of that. Little problem. I say little. Rather major problem. So this army seems to be like a roaming army for defense. Oh, I'm understanding more about this mission and how it actually works. Like the actual mechanics behind it. It's pretty cool. So they've got like one massive roaming army. When they run low on supply, they look to push boats, I guess. I'm assuming because they were already at like max supply. Oh, that's a big army I need to not to deal with. Okay, it's the um, chimeras that are killing me then. In a big way, that fire and poison. Oof. Oh my Christ! It's just the army just keeps coming. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. That is kind of nuts. We are out of gold. That's a major problem. Even with two plenty volts. Okay. How am I going to deal with no gold? I need to find gold. I also lost my navy. I've got another one. Okay, but I also need to stop building navy because I got no money. Tell you what I do need, manticores. Okay. Interestingly... Now I'm at the point where I need to sell stuff. Wood I kind of need to keep. Gold is a... Uh, sorry, food is an infinite resource, however. Faith, I need to get more um, plenty volts in order to sustain unit production. All right, whoa, this is a quite the mission, huh? Okay. Now we need to deal with all of this, bobbins. Oh, that's a problem. We need to take care of that. It's probably what killed us last time, actually, I suspect. Wow. Okay. That's a problem. Struggling to win on land and sea. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty bad. Um, I do have an army. I need to build ships again. I'm struggling to... Uh... Yeah, let's stop the unit production. Focus more on the navy production. For a moment at least. Uh. 
Ne. Is there a bit better way to do this? Guess not. Where are they producing units from at this point then? Or are they not? Have we killed that main army that was roaming and that's all they've got? Or have they got more production? So it's like an easy kill. I guess we could use the land army actually to kill this. might have actually destroyed all their production. That's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, I'm not seeing any more produced units. Apart from the stuff they've obviously got defending each of these locations. Oh, they've run out of resources as well, which is also highly possible. What a mission though. This is like the ultimate challenge mode skirmish. Where'd that thing go? Where is my transport ship? Where is it? Oh, it's there. It's not dangerous at all. Okay, so prisoners can't build like villagers, good to know. Oh, gold! I see gold in two locations. Okay, that's massive. Oh! I didn't realize there was a gate set in that. That's interesting. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so they are definitely producing more troops. That's good to know. This is far from over then. Oh, that's a point. We could go that way instead. Yeah, back to producing troops it is. Once again, Wolves doing their uh, job and then some. So they are producing another army, so I'm assuming somewhere over here is where their next army is getting created. 
Not a massive fan of this being here. I'm well aware that I've already got 19 of the 15, but this isn't about just beating the mission, it's about destroying red. That's annoying. Right, I do have a lightning strike as well, which is worth us remembering. I'm running a little bit low. I need, just need to use food for gold. The other option is we can work work our way up to 400 um, favor. Also, how? Well, you know what? Because of that, let's put a wall here. I need that gold so bad. The enemy will drop a um, lightning storm, which I'm not prepared for. If we were to go down that route. I think that's also the path to the enemy base. There's nothing. We can go this way as well. I think I might just play defensive for a sec. Run. Bigger lightning storm, run away. There we go. That's what I wanted. Still right on top of my head, isn't it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> that does so much damage. All right. I got 400 cat. Wow, when did that shoot up so high? Alright, boys, let's rebuild the army. That should be all of their god powers now, I think. Unless they do something when we actually trigger it to their. I'm assuming there's a base there because they're still producing units, so they must be. We must have something somewhere. I do need wood, so I'm okay with this. Oh my, that's a big army. Oof. Does make me a little bit nervous the fact that that's there. I'm gonna move it. I don't trust anything in this game. The hell? 
Where do these guys keep coming from? A mission. I think we pretty much nailed this. What an army. <laughs> 400, 400 max army. I mean, this is uh, quite something. I presume this is where they're building all their extra troops actually. It's a temple, archery range and a fortress. Where would we get the stables from though? Unless we destroyed the stables as well. Is Voli. So can we overmax beyond 400? I'm genuinely curious. I'm going to assume not. I have a feeling 400 is the true cap. Oh, there's gold. How did I not see this? How did I not see that gold? Oh, there's gold there as well. There's gold everywhere, turns out. I'm just blind. LOL. You smack him. Get off me. The troubles. You smack him. Right, so this is the last one. Is there any enemy bases over here or is that Red Dead? Wow, this army is insane. Says 45. That's actually a lot. So plus these. Says 49 specifically on the map. Unless I lost one, in which case it'd be 50. Either way. I will say, very cool mission, very cool mission. Pretty challenging, I like it.
How have I got 45 and there's only 25 on... Where's the others? Okay, there, yeah, Red is dead then. Unless there's something through here. What? Oh, you can un... I didn't even realise you could unload people individually. Good to know. Can we not go through these walls? They're an ally, right? Ah, rude. Oh, I'll tell you, you can. So if I go there and then take that off. Hello! Walls are not an obstacle, they are an option <laughs> for a Monra and a Nubites. Okay, so this is kind of like the start of the other next mission in theory, I suppose. Just wondering if there's like a Gargarensis or something over here that we can kill just for LOLs. I'm going to assume not. Ooh, what's this? Wow. Random? More than anything, just curious. Oh yeah, we can just um do that if we want it, right? <laughs> Kill them all! They're not allies anymore. Is there a diplomacy thing? There is. But I can't. Okay. Fair enough. Whatever. GG's. A victory! Alrighty, folks. That'll right, do it. right about do it for this rather long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel, would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.